host Robert Montoya during uh, COVID. We're over here in the office putting in some work. Got Josie on the ones and twos. Ahmad's joining us too as well. Bob, what's up, man? How's it going, everybody? Man, today it's it's nuts, man. I, I love it out there, but man, it's hot, right? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's hot, <laughs> but there's a lot going on. Hey, thanks everybody for joining the show over here for Miami Unlocked. I hope that everybody is just putting in um, their effort and their energy into things that really uh, do mean something to them, you know, because mm-hmm. um, I think this is like one of the only unique times that we really get to, because um, I remember being just pressed for time a few months ago where I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, I could, I, this wouldn't be possible. And now that, you know, this time is taking place, different kinds of opportunities are presenting themselves and, and you can invest your time into different things. So uh, it's awesome that we're able to be able, like this was not even uh, scheduled or planned. It was just done on a whim and everyone was able to come together. And uh, I think that that's what we need to see in, a, in especially the time that, that we're in right now where we have the, the BLM movement going on. Now you have the, this JLM movement, which is Jewish Lives Matter, which I think is is I, I get it, you know. I, I, you know, to the defense of both parties, I get it. But what people need to understand is that uh, they all they all come at the same, they all meet at the same epicenter, right. which is the fact that it's the conversation is not about mentioning whose life matters. It's just and in general, anything that is uh, created uh, that that you know, if you if you can take away a life and you can't give it back, that means. You, you have no authority to do that, you know? Therefore, it's like everything that is uh, created divine like that needs to be respected in the same light, you know? And I think it's just a very, very simple conversation. I think people just prolong it uh, yeah, way yeah. too much. No, definitely, I do hear you on that. I mean, with everything that's going on right now <laughs> in this world, it's like you see a lot of people just running around Mm-hmm. Okay. We see a lot of people just running around, a lot of fear mongering, a lot of other stuff that's happening. But it's like, for for us and our crew here, it's like um, we keep moving. Like our days just run continuous, you know. Because right now, everybody is just trying to figure out what they're going to be doing. But when things present itself, we got to be creative. And it, just like how so we're doing it today, <laughs> like this whole. Uh, <coughs> You know, putting together this show at midnight, you know, waiting for some burgers to come through. That's what's up right there. But we came together as a crew to put this together and keep pushing forward. This is what young entrepreneurs should be doing out here in Miami. This is how to make the economy roll. This is how to turn things back around. There's things that's, that, are, that is there for every single niche. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every single niche. Look, from the time that everything has happened, right? It's hot too. From the time that everything has happened, it was, it, it's been an amazing experience Just because- we can. Um, because we can, and, and on, we're, we're yeah. able to bring on- Actually, I think we need that mask back since it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be three so musketeers wait. here. Yeah. And we still got Josie here, and actually I wanna hear from so everybody I, in this room. Yeah. This we're all gonna share, we're all gonna share some so time. From, from, from all this BS negativity shit that's going on, what mm-hmm. is some of the positive shit y'all have been able to get a chance to do that y'all haven't been able to do before? You know what I'm saying? You mentioned you had no time back in the day. <laughs> I say back in the day like it was not two months ago. It feels like back in the day, though, already. It feels like back in the day already. 2020 is almost done. What are some of those things you guys have been able to take advantage of? Share with us, share with me, share with our crowd, with our, so that not only people can kind of get an understanding as to if they're not thinking in that space because they're either watching the news or paying attention to Instagram or paying attention to the bullshit, um, excuse my French, so that their mind could be expanded as to other opportunities or other things that they could be doing themselves. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with business. It could just do, be doing personal things that y'all haven't been able to get a chance to do. I would like to hear some of that. Awesome. Family is everything. Mm. 
friendships are built on challenges and not triumphs. I think it's easy to have friends when you're triumphant. And I think it's tested when uh, everything is, is, is questioned. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that, that's where the people get that saying where real things withstand the test of time. Uh, that's, that's true in every sense of the word. In anything, you know, like uh, you can't rush the process of a seed growing into a tree. You know, it has to go through that. It's inevitable. There's some steps you can't skip, you know. I mean, fa- family, man, family. And, and I think like you appreciating, you, you get to really see what you have. I oh, think at home, you. you get to see what you have at home. You get to see who you're with if you have a, a significant other um, you get to see what's important to you, you know, because there's really that machine that's constantly grabbing your attention every day. That's like that rat race, that 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 that, that racing clock. Uh, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not the, it's not, cap, it, it doesn't, it's not capturing us right now to tell us to go to work and do all that. I mean, some people are obviously, but it's not that same kind of uh, momentum. Everything is not firing on all full cylinders, you know, so. Uh, it, it's it's just showing you how to appreciate the time that you have now with the things that are around you. And uh, f- for Rob, I mean, everything, I think it's different for everybody too, of because course, as a single why, person, it's probably a different time too. But of uh, course, that's <coughs> why I want to hear, like, you know, are you, you're saying, you mentioned family. What are some of the things that, like, you've been able to kind of capture on right now with the time that you have? And like I said, it doesn't have to be personal, it can either be business or it can be just in whatever, but just you kind of have a little different of experience though because of your business, you sort of ubiquitous in the aspect of that. You haven't necessarily been in that cubicle nine to five kind of grind type of thing. You, right. You've been more on your own train. So right. how, how has this, I don't know, time, not necessarily affected, but how has it, how, how has it impacted you? Okay, I got you on that. Okay, so this this is going to be a little bit different from everybody here. Exactly, know, that's because, what I want to hear. You know, he's in he's in real estate. He's dealing with people. He's dealing with the tangible things in life. See, for for me and my family, we were we were more prepared for something that happened like this. So it didn't really affect us that much because when we were in Las Vegas, we just moved here back in September. When we were in Las Vegas, we were already used to working from home you know what I mean running the business from home I was used to I built my business from the library you know just taking a laptop and just going library to library all my resources are there so it's just being able to get used to work remote and work anywhere so when we moved here uh, you know coffee shops here and there it's just I could pick up and go as long as I'm connected to the internet that's that's where my world is you know and when when all of this happened we were already home we already staying home we have a baby as well so my wife was already planning on staying home with the baby so everything it 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 worked out to what we really wanted but it it didn't we didn't want to work out like this where people were forced to stay home but uh you know for my family it was it, it wasn't so bad but for me being out every single day I seen what was happening to all these businesses, okay? And that's where I had to really turn turn everything around and say, you know what, these businesses need to be saved. And because there was so much panic going on, just like the panic that's happening right now, all the fear mongering. But on the business side, everybody was talking about suspending their, their marketing plan. Like the SEO is the most essential tool that every business can have to be able to grow or maintain in a position where they, that, that's where all your traffic and all your business comes from. Mm-hmm. Everything is going digital nowadays. So when I just flipped it, I said, I told my clients, I said, I know for some of you that are non-essential, look, we're gonna hold you down. Don't even pay because they're not making a dime. They had to close down. So it was, it was my time to turn around and do something for others because I knew what it was like to go through a recession from the last time. And that one lasted for years. And this is a little bit different too, because right now there's a bunch of fear going on. Not yeah. just financial fear, but health fear. Yeah. And you just mentioned you had a baby. So talk to me about that. How, how, how did that affect your sort of family dynamic? And if it didn't affect, how did it improve? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what were some of those struggles that you kind of experienced? Uh, some of the struggles was major, 
uh, mostly a culture shock, mm. you know, because I lived in Las Vegas all my life. I'm born and raised there. So when I came here, I mean, we, we came and visited in April, then I was already here in September. That's how quick we, we did it. And we drove across the country. So coming here with the baby, it was like, I, it's like that time, like you better man up because your business is what's taking you to this next level. Mm. And then I had to just keep that engine running, but it was like in a place that was so new, but I knew there was so much, so much potential here for businesses to grow, you know what I mean? So that's why when this whole thing started happening, people who are in specific niches that had to do with tech, audio, music, video, you know, we're putting together all these resources and the tech team because everybody's not really doing much right now, but we're gonna be pushing the envelope. And that's why we have developed a team during this time of Corona to really put something together and really give back and be there for business businesses to, to, to maintain where they need to be because there's jobs, right? There's so many jobs that are lost, not lost, but furloughed, right? Mm. But if a business is gonna, is gonna suspend their, their marketing campaign, that means there's no traffic, there's no leads, and then there's no jobs to be able to fund that. So we make sure that we hold it down, you know? You guys seem pretty level-headed mm -hmm. for some of, the, some of the things I've been kind of seeing outside. It just, it feels, you feel the pandemonium outside. So what, what are some of those things you guys have been doing that kind of maintains that ease of mind that I'm feeling right now? Because like I just said, you just had a newborn. Yeah. You've got a couple kids yourself, right? I think, I think depending on what your goal is, outside uh, has, you know, it, depending on what your goal is, that dictates the percentage of what, how much involvement outside has to do with what you're trying to do. Right. What so what I mean is that you have to ignore it because you have to if you if right now you don't have you didn't have a major plan, you didn't have a major goal, you don't have a, a dream that you're trying to manifest a time like this is going to carry you into the it's like a riptide. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to take you straight off course right now. People are overeating. People are not working mm. out. People mm. are not getting after it anymore yeah. people are getting complacent people think it's vacation time listen if you're not born with it like that you don't have vacation time if you're trying to get to that level you know and if you want to be comfortable which is like the 99 percent uh you can take that route but you can't get upset at the end of the day because you had a poor work ethic so i mean it's easy to say that done, right i think one of these times i think what this has exposed to some of these people in general the masses are what do you think is easier said than done like you said, like you mentioned, knowing your knowing your limits or your capabilities, because that's kind of what you're on, what you're touching upon in the aspect of if you if you're sitting at home and you're not taking advantage of the time that you're getting mm -hmm. right now at this moment, you're almost allowing it to pass. You I mean, off. I don't want it. The thing about it is this, right? Like people, I think people in the last like 15 to 20 years, they've gotten uh, falsely success crazed, and what I mean by that is that like. Um, there was a time where people gravitated towards their like natural inclination. You know, what, you mean? what I mean by that is that back then, I think people accepted the fact that there should be variety in life. You know, there, there, there can be a multimillionaire right here and somebody who makes 10 grand here and they're both just equally as happy. Uh -huh. You understand? It's because uh -huh. it, 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 at the end of the day, it doesn't come down to that. It just comes down to like, what is your energy? You know, and uh, I think as a society, like we know, our our, our our technology is getting complex. But as a masses, our perception is not complex enough. We're too much on the surface. We don't go deep enough. Therefore, we're not specific. And because we're not specific, it's like you treating a fucking Rolls Royce the same way you treat a Honda Civic. Like it's just not the same thing to drive. But if you don't know how to treat it not going to perform the right way you know so like this i said gets you from point a to point b though. yeah but it's a different it's, it has nothing to do well, the true, vehicle is going to move regardless true. right mm -hmm. but it's you what does it mean to you so you, what has what has this time that you that we've now gathered in meant to you it still means the same it still means the same to me like it did six months ago like it did a year ago like it did two years ago i'm not where i want to be i'm not where 
uh, uh, I'm not where I'm going to end up and uh, I got a lot of work to do and uh, yeah this is like a little bit of a weird time but tomorrow's still gonna come you know like I can't act like oh my god COVID is here it's completely turned you know changed the course of my life no I need to know how to adapt to COVID while still pursuing what I've been pursuing prior to COVID because COVID is, is a moment in time. That's true. I can agree. And I can attest to that too as well because, you know, I've never stopped really what I've been doing and especially my association with you and just meeting him, you know, this year, especially you, Josie. Yeah, like, yeah. No matter how many times we've had an hiatus, there's always a time where we have unfinished business. Yeah, now, 100%. Now, we have to continue that business no matter how personal it is overall. 100%. Because that's, because that's what's important. Well, the, the, we share a commonality here, right? That's why we're all here. Exactly. It's because it's like that, that, that drive, it's being expressed in different, different ways, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. it's still towards the same goal. main yeah, goal, going, you know? So up. that's why, that's why we're up. all feeling like, you know, I don't feel like I'm being depleted. There are certain people you mm -hmm. hang around with, you feel like you're the light bulb and, and they're the moths, you know? This is like, yeah. This is a session where, I mean, we took a walk for, for food. I was like drained, but after we started talking now and everything, like I'm cooking, you know, like, cause, cause the energy is there, you know, yeah. the, 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 the inspiration, the drive is, the there. is there. The more yeah. people you hang, you know, if, if people are really on that same vibe with you, then everyone's going to feel empowered moving forward. Yeah. You know? yeah that's How do you feel about it? I, I, I've been, you know, what's interesting, um, I think one of the two things that have been become very important to me, you know, is who you hang around with, you know, because understand being in quarantine and sort of having the time to reflect upon who are you letting in your space, mm -hmm. being conscious of that, and how not only does that affect your house, but how does that affect your body? How how does that affect the way you cook? How does that affect what you drink? How does that affect what you consume, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then also another thing that I'm that I've been very conscious of and noticed, and funny enough, is the importance of playing games. The importance of playing like <laughs> not for real, no, like, <laughs> like, that like the importance of playing like like that important like like losing keeping brain functionality because mm -hmm. you yeah. notice that we play games on a physical level no matter what whether we have a board or in front of us or, or what like this pursuit this business pursuit that we do is a game in and of itself that importance of playing those board games has created a a an ability for me to realize like oh this is something i need to pay attention to and make time for no matter what's going on Mm -hmm. It's almost like those are the things that have become relevant. It's a new stimulation. Well, well, it's not that it's a new stimulation. It's that it, it creates. It, it's an. It's another avenue. Yes. Well, I guess you're right. I mean, I mean, not it's new, avenue. but yes. it's like a it's different a, yeah. version of that of, time. Of that yeah. Time. yeah. And, and it's almost what's become relevant to me is the things that I need to make time for. Mm -hmm. That connection with your new family, now. Or, 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 or not just family, just with myself. Even if it's. You know, even if it's playing a chess, a game of chess on my phone with the computer and mm -hmm. taking out a day, you know, on a Sunday or something or a couple of hours to do that. Mm -hmm. Or even if it's even if it's like the importance of actually reading a fucking page on the book, yeah. you know, everything gone. So did, I, like, I feel like that's what this time for me has created it, this mm -hmm. this amount of time has allowed me to sort of. Um, that's uh, awesome. Uh, uh, take back those things that we allow to let go because we ex we use the machine as a justification as to why we can't get to them. It's easier to read something, send me a text, send me an email. You yeah. understand? It's easier, it's easier, link me. Yeah, <laughs> it's easier to, to get the PDF or the book, but it's like now I'm at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Like been, you get to look at a page of a book and you get to understand what that interaction does. Exactly. And you gotta understand how that affects, for me as a, don't get me wrong, as a youngin, like yes, we were prior. We were experiencing prior to to to, to all this technology, but we were we were kids. So the 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 ability to understand wasn't there. The the comprehension no. wasn't necessarily there. For some that were gifted, yeah, but at least for me, no. You spoke about that with your business that you had to sort of hold your people down. How did that? You didn't prepare for that. But how did how did that brand new experience or brand new realization of oh shit I've been prepping for this my whole life since I started this business because now I'm at a point where I can hold these people down. Yeah. How did that feel and how 
did that create how did that lend you to create new avenues to attack your business to continue to expand okay so so one thing for for the business to even to come out here the most important thing is to document document everything that you're doing so whatever it is that you're doing right you replicate it you know what i mean mm -hmm. Uh, when it comes to like website design, when it comes to support, when it comes to sales, sales tactics, you know, ads, templates, what you're gonna use on LinkedIn, what you're gonna use on Facebook, like you, you build all this documentation. So when you do build a team, you can use that and you and you build upon that. Documentation is the most important thing for for our agency to keep going because now we have something to go off of. And now it just basically. Uh, coming into this, like, um, you know, with all of our clients, it felt great to be able to help. You know what I mean? It felt great to actually be there because, yeah, we, it, it, when things are good and my clients are, they're scaling up, that means their revenue is getting bigger, the bottom line is growing, you know, I see them scaling because they've been with us for many years, you know, but when it comes time for this, it's like, okay, they really are depending on our agency because we're the ones who kept producing revenue for them, you know? So for, uh, for me to be able to be prepared from even like the last recession, being prepared, being in a digital age, being a software engineer is like, okay, I got things turning, got things turning, right? And then, and then it's just moving forward. So the, the, basically like, I know you were talking about games and, and TV shows, and, I mean, well, there's a bunch of other stuff, but not TV shows, but like there's TV shows that you can watch. There's Netflix out there. There's Hulu. There's Disney Plus. Like they're pushing all this other stuff out there, right? I mean, you can sit there, you can look through your phone and look at influencers all day, you know, on Instagram. But being a, being in the business that we're in, trying to hold it down for businesses and put businesses back out there, we have to. I have to keep moving. I keep moving every single day. So that's why, I like, I'm, you know, I'm bringing the team together and say, hey, let's choose. Let's create some content. Let's keep let's keep it moving. Keep calling people, you know, because every, so these businesses need our help. You know what I mean? Everybody has, does. Has he touched on some interesting documentation? Has that branched into your industry at mm -hmm. all? Into the real estate industry, documenting video content, things of that nature. How how has that um, impacted the real estate industry? Obviously, that was something that was prior before, but how have you? I mean, I, I think people was they started going virtual. Um, for me, for me personally, virtual, um, didn't really do that much for me. I, I mean, based on my experience, I, n I haven't sold anything virtually or rented anything virtually. Um, people have had to come to the product and, and feel it either that or they previously saw it, um, prior to uh, the crisis. And, and then at this time, it was just a great time for, uh, for people to capitalize on emotion, where the sellers were scared or they mm -hmm. wanted to get out or they wanted to stay in, you were really able to check people's pockets. Yeah. So I just recently closed on something on Hollywood Boulevard. I, I got it for my client, $40,000 under asking, which is the, the largest discount in the entire building. Um, and it's one of the most expensive sales uh, in the building for a 2-2. And uh, <clears throat> I think documentation um, was important, but like I said, from, what I what I do is different. It's not like what I do is not a subscription based kind of thing where, you know, I can like have an Amazon marketplace or just digitally send people homes. Um, probably after you get to a certain level, we have model specs and all that and you, you have a highly sought after area. But what I deal with is, is people. So uh, if anything that was tested, it was the strength of my relationships, mm. you know, uh, okay. in, in my business. And, and that's what really kind of like um, made that difference between people saying, hey, you know what, I want to do business with you right now. Even though I know it's a crazy time right now, but I want to do business with you still. And that means a lot to me. Because it's like, you know, it's like no one's certain. I'm not certain. The bank's not certain. No one's certain right now. You know, so for someone to still be like, you know, yeah, I, I still see what you're talking about. And I tell people, like, listen, this is a crazy time right now. You know, I don't know what's going to happen a year, two years from now. But I do know five to seven to 10 years from now, Miami, Florida is gonna be a whole different place. It's gonna be much highly, much more highly populated. Sorry. And it's also gonna be much more expensive. That's dope, that's dope that like what you, it, it's like 
it's still that that interaction. Yeah. It's still that 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 contact of do you trust that that works? You realize that that's what business is all about. Business is all about relationships. Even if Robert is in the digital space, someone has to like something about him. Whether it's him or the product he provides, they have to like, and the product is him. So they have to like something about him. So even down in, in anything, it still comes down to human interaction, it comes well, down that, to impression. That trust is, is common there because he mentioned his clients had enough trust to come and tell him, hey, we're going to, we have to back out. We're not making anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he had enough mm-hmm. trust in them to be like, look, I'm going to hold you down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even if they weren't expecting that answer, yeah. you know, because at the end of the day, they probably were like, this guy's just going to let me go because I'm not putting money in his pocket. Yeah. They had enough trust. To that was a business. smart chess move on his end, though, yeah. as far as the business. And, well, and, and I don't think it, it was smart. I think it's the right thing to do because at the end of the day, hmm. you want to maintain that client. It is. It right is the right thing to do. Said. Because of what you said, five, seven, ten years later down the road, Corona's not. It gonna, is. You know, it's the right thing to do if you can afford to do it, though. I mean, that, you that's, that, that comes down and to that's how, how right. does actually so so time management has probably been in a, a topic of, of thought in your head, right? Now with all this time that we have, mm-hmm. I'm assuming how 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 did, how has that played into the equation of of you laying out your 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 daily um uh, uh your daily uh, um, your daily quest. Well, you got to keep moving. You got to take action as, as much as possible. I mean, when you when you're working with a team of people, you gotta you gotta collaborate as much as possible to keep the engine running. Um, you know, for me, it's just I have to keep creating content in my head. I have to create ways to connect everything logistically. When it comes to SEO. My my mind is just constantly going what I could create how I could create it and how I can link it all together because w- one of the big things is is being relevant and being and trustworthy, right? Oh, well, speaking of trustworthy th- This is where it really comes in when it comes with the the clients re- retaining clients Okay, let me touch on that real quick before I forget on that now retaining clients for us see they depend on us to be their digital authority, right? So when we when we come to them with our services and let them know this is how things work, this is in the digital age, you know, they'll come back with ideas. Sometimes we have to shoot it down. Sometimes they're they're pretty good, but they trust us to be the digital authority in that sense, because that's what they're hiring us for. You know what I mean? So in a time like this, is that when they have questions, when they're about to leave. And that's when I have to jump in and educate my clients because I know well enough, we are the SEO experts out there, we know well enough to give them the most educated decision that they're going to be making. And this is going to be a huge, huge impact on their business. Because if they stopped, then there would be no jobs for people to come back to. And that would be even worse, you and know. But you got to, but I had to keep them relevant. And some of the other competitors, right? right they would be probably the ones that did decide to. They'll yeah. just fall off, creating more opportunities for the clients that you're holding. Right. By maintaining them in their position, right? Right, right. I mean, uh, one of my clients in Las Vegas, just by keeping their position and, and keep the content flowing during the whole COVID because they were non-essential. They had to completely shut the doors. They were a tattoo shop that had like four locations. They are essential. They are essential, but considering yeah. they had to shut their doors, right? Yeah. So by us keep doing the work and say, hey, look, we got you. When the doors opened up, their their position just, or no, 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 not the position, the traffic, it skyrocketed like 20,000%. It just went <laughs> right back up. I mean, the impressions that they get per shop, well, let's just say combined, they probably get about almost 200,000 impressions. They get like, you know, 20,000 clicks to the website and they were right back. You know, they were able to open the doors and do everything the right way, you know? And that's the people that we went out to go visit on, in Las Vegas. And, and you you do a lot of things. So, so what are, to kind of touch back on that time management thing, what are some of the tools that you use to maintain your ability to be able to do all these things? Like, how has time management played a role into the, the, you laying out your business? You've been doing this for a while. Yeah. This autonomous 
working at home thing. Yeah. This is, this is home for you, yeah. basically. Well, it comes from my experience. I've been in operations management for so long. I mean, I have a business management degree, right? So, but I've been in operations management for decades, you know, working for Lenore Homes as a superintendent, working for GES as a uh, operations manager. Uh, the official operation, operations manager, holding down shows like CES, Mine Expo, Con Expo, Magic, you know, Orgill, holding down shows like that, it just, it, it, it gives me that sense, like I know what I'm doing, I know how to put people together and I know how to put the material together, schedule it out, get everybody who I really need, you know, I, I can find those people to be able to put together a project or put together a collaboration of a something that's much bigger. I know how to put people together. So just by having that kind of resource and, and reaching out and making sure everybody's moving, because I'm not able to do it alone. I got a lot of ideas and I got a lot of data that's up in here, but there's no way that I can output this stuff by myself. So that's why I make sure that we have a strong team and I always make sure that everybody is moving and we have something to do. You know, At the same time, we are building our own brands as well. So what I like to do is just you know, as entrepreneurs, keep bringing in ones that are just, you know, who are hungry, who are ready to move and basically can work in our space as well. I mean, we, we bring on people all the time and we're just moving forward. I have to keep this pace up because this is, this is, my, this is my blood right here. You know, business is like in my blood. So this is all I think about, this is all I do. So it sounds like, it sounds like you, you have allowed yourself to create a reliance on your team to be able to sort of spread yourself out so that you can handle all these multiple things with you, with you AJ how, how how has that also like how has time management um, played a role into, into your business now that you now that you sort of gained all this amount of time that we have from this quarantine situation mm -hmm. like like what are some of the tools that you've been using to keep yourself sharp in, in, in the aspect of keeping your head in on the goal. Because uh, you did mention a lot of distractions out there. You know what I'm saying? So so how have you been able to handle that? Um, I think <clears throat> I think anybody who's in business for themselves, uh, they quickly learn um, if you're interested in making revenue, you're going to need to be good with time management because uh, you're it's all on you. Therefore, you need to know how to allocate your time and, and, and your activities and what you're going to do. So uh, it's very important because you need to know how to prospect, you need to know how to continue to build your infrastructure, whether it's your agent page or whether it's your contacts, your network, uh, your, your current listings, are they refreshed, are they looking good, um, continuously uh, networking with new people. Um, it's uh, you, you start to just really... It depends because different people have different time management disciplines. There are some people that I think they probably struggle with it throughout their entire lives. And then there are people who they're new to it. And over time, they start to see uh, what's important. And then they they uh, adjust accordingly, cut out things that are not productive, implement things that increase production or augment production. And uh, but it's a learning process. You know, were you one of those people, or were you it was uh, uh, time management was tough for me um, in so the beginning, for what, sure. What, what, like, looking back on your experience, and I know it's a little difficult to probably do that. But no, I could, I could, I could, I could, I could, uh, I could imagine what was up. Off, like, you well, know what I'm saying? That you kind of understood how to how to push aside as you were learning through experience. Um. Well, do you start learning that the things that don't require you interacting with people, you can save those things for nighttime or you can save those things for when uh, business hours are off, you know? So uh, I think recognizing that uh, lead generation, lead generation in my business, it's, it's more like setting up, um, it's like setting up a, setting up a mainframe and, and people pass through that net, you know? And it's just like once you set it up correctly, you don't have to go back to it for a while and it'll keep uh, bearing fruit for you as long as it's still up. But of course, you know, once that's no longer available, you need to so, so cut what, that out. What did you mean exactly if it wasn't what I just mentioned? Like, like that, that those things that are important um, during business hours for you? Call, making calls, uh, meeting people, um, uh, I mean, 
making calls and meeting people for me I, I, to me my business and, and how, how I've succeeded is, is through people and uh, negotiating with them and, and, and finding that mutually beneficial medium between me and them and moving on you know and uh, it's just the time spent with people is what's going to give you the biggest reward I think that's why they have meetings um, and then you know nighttime is when I worked on my ads is when I worked on my wording is when I worked on stuff like that but during the day it was just straight let me talk to as many people as I can make as many impressions as I can schedule as many appointments as I can and just naturally no, I feel you. I you get feel a knack you. for it being new to this like sort of entrepreneurship style of, 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 of handling business one of the things i've learned is that that like your time that you those business hour times are valuable yeah. for business purposes only in the aspect of the, the cosmetics meaning i'm somebody that i can overthink shit a lot right so before mm -hmm. i send a proposal proposal to somebody yeah i want it to look as mean and as clean as possible yeah but right now i ain't really the time for that i need to make the other call you understand because from 9 a.m to 5 p.m that's that time frame and that you're going to get people who are going to pick up the phone and 5 p.m is being generous you really got to like 12. if i were if <laughs> yeah. if i were if i were you i would put more emphasis on the phone call yeah. and about an eighth of the emphasis on the on the proposal because the proposal is just that follow through energy where there's already that familiarity so you know it's like it's really about that impression on the phone where you just like how that voice how you how you selectively word your art your delivery <laughs> to the point where you get them it's like it's like playing a guitar right it's like yeah, you just yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. you just it comes out so well they can't say no to you. They, 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 yeah. they, they, they're going to answer the next question you have with pleasure. Yeah. So when you just know how to do that, you focus on that. Because people get text messages nowadays. They get, they get picture messages. Face they time. get IG. They get Twitter. So anything that's yeah. digital wording is very passive. It's very like, psh, been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Your email yeah. is not going to hit someone emotionally and make them like, oh my God, this is beautiful. No matter how much wording you put into <laughs> it. Unless you're an attorney, then oh. someone knows like, holy crap, you know, yeah. this guy's airtight. Yes. When it comes to like stuff like that, like these people are business, business owners. Therefore they have to be creative. Therefore they're not looking for one set way for you to send them the message, you know? Yeah, Just yeah, send yeah. the fucking message, move on. Move yeah. on. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? And, and, and it's interesting that you say that because we were touching on the artificial intelligence thing it's like it doesn't it doesn't get away from the human aspect no matter how much technology you add on top of it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like you still need to be you still need to have the fundamentals down right so, mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. I, I think one of the interesting things that all this time has allowed us that that almost uh i mean that this uh this new way of this new thing that's going on right now to us right um because i don't even know what to call it right mm -hmm. um this new time that we're going through one of the things that it, it has allowed us is um an ability to understand to take it back to the basics like i mentioned earlier like playing what's with, important yes the basics you know what i'm saying because you're right like that phone call if you got that down that part down everything comes with it everything else follows you, know you don't saying? need to know how to do it so that's almost yeah. like your that's like your jump shot you know yeah. what i'm saying that's just you gotta just and even mm. if it goes back that's called know how knowing how to sell interesting yeah that's interesting. it and it seems like it seems like you no matter even if you know or if you don't it comes through experience yeah because you can have the talent no matter what but if you ain't putting in that grind of understanding how it feels when that person doesn't respond the question like you want them to or or like you thought they were and it kind of stops you and you're just like oh shit what do i say now like if you don't have that experience of being able to handle that and being able to handle business owners saying no you know what i'm saying like if you don't have that experience and you don't put yourself in that space you're not you're not really gonna last like that's one of the things i've noticed and it's like you take one of the things i took for granted before because everything was always laid out for me in the past as far as when it came down to working for a corporate structure was scheduling you know what i'm saying like scheduling is one of the things that i understand that i real quickly realized that i take for granted that i took for granted right so it's like un having an understanding of from you know i gotta i gotta be up at this time 
I gotta make sure that I'm making calls by this time, which means that my Excel sheet that I'm gonna make calls from has to already be up, that I can't be working on that on the times where people are, you know what I'm saying? All those things, you kind of like, oh shit, you pick them up as you go. Mm -hmm. And they become they become almost part of your like part of your your being like you're just, no you're not going to forget them exactly. they're going to be it's going to become habits exactly they become habits that's probably the right yeah. the right thing yeah they become habits yeah but 100%. i wonder i wonder how many people are are experiencing this and, and it's like I, I, everybody I, needs to I, I realize like you said like some people are just out there getting lost in the sauce for lack of a better word yeah. and, and, and and when i say the sauce obviously i mean the media doesn't help but they'll still figure it out. That's the whole no, thing. For sure, for like, sure, like everyone's sure. gonna, as long as for you sure. keep everyone attempting, you're to going to figure it out. You know, like de depending how disciplined you are. You know, like you can be somewhere where you do SEO one, two days a week, or you can be somewhere like Robert, right, yeah. who is a full time. So, you know, that 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 his progress is just gonna be completely different than someone. You know, it's just like any in anything, in any sport. You know, it's like. It's just that it has to be that addiction. That addiction well, has to be there. Hobby. You know what I'm saying? It's well, it's all hobby, right? It's yeah. all hobby, right? right? Well, right. well here, here's the thing for me. is like when you, when you love what you do so much and, and you love the, the, the production of it, it's not even like working anymore. Yeah. So you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, it is like a hobby to me. My work, my, my passion for it, it feels like a hobby, but it, it keeps me going. It keeps me pumping, you know, because... I, you know, putting on a production for a podcast, putting on a production for a video, a YouTube video, mm -hmm. uh, creating the content, be able to build a new website for a new company. You know, you got these nice boating companies out here like Coastal Offshore. That's like butterflies. You got, you got, <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of doctors. things out there that, that you could just create, you know, and I love to create. And I love to put things together. I mean, that's just what keeps me going. So it doesn't feel like I'm going to work and, nice. and I'm, I'm punching in for a job. It just feels like I'm making an impact. Well, I mean, that's what it feels like. I'm making an impact by something that I really love and I have so much passion for. And the fact that it's yours is only an icing mm. on the cake, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's like anything that you're doing, is, it come, it's going to come back to you regardless. Like yeah, but you know what? Like my my overnight success has taken six years. No, nah, but I mean, you know what I mean. So I it's not like an instantaneous thing, but it's nah, something but that I built up for so long and 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 have finally reached a pinnacle point where it's like now I could I could really do something with it for many other people you know not not just for the clients but many other people to come in now like building a team like that's that's that that's that point where you as a business owner you start to scale because every business wants to scale so that that's where that's where we're at right now you know because we're scaling we got great people and we'll be able to cre create amazing amazing things so you know it feels really good to do something like that because that is what really makes an impact yeah, in I our community i don't think anybody I, I think i think you quickly realize that there is no such thing as an overnight when you start putting yourself in that pool right of, of chasing for what you want that you assume is overnight yeah. right like i think a lot of people get that realization quick like reality has a beautiful way of speaking to us but I, I, one of the things I want to ask you guys a question of is one of the things that I've been experiencing is the way that I entertain myself now is very different from three to four months ago. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you guys have ex are experiencing that. What I mean by that is like, like I, I find myself, I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I work from my phone now a lot more than before, but I find myself not entertaining myself as much on my phone as I used to. I find myself being more entertained with things that that I'm not so close to, for lack of a better word, right? Yeah, you're getting away from involved. the radiation. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> right. Has always been involved in, in no matter what, yeah. right? But I've noticed that my writing has switched more to pen to paper rather than digital, Ooh, right? Bars. My writing, it has because like before, my phone was always close to me, and it was the fastest thing that I could put a thought down to. Yeah. But now, even when it comes down to you know, if I speak to a client and I'm trying to write down their email, lack of a better word even though i'm in front of a computer and a type like i got my pen and my pad and it's easy you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah like, so i don't know if you guys are, have been experiencing some of these things right like so what are, what are some of the things that you guys whether it be a mod or, or um, man. Like, the, the, the thing is about like you were saying you brought um up reading like yeah like i'm a kind of an information junkie yeah so i really want to always turn that tv off and really 
either, even though the internet is accessible, I definitely want to pick up that book, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And try to retain what I'm reading. But the information, I, I make sure that I look at and analyze. I always have to make sure that I have to counter with what else has the same knowledge. But um, in, in, in the other aspect, um, sharing it as well. And who do I share it to? Because crucial, everybody's gonna take everything out of context, no matter what, yeah, yeah. and that's scary. Like that's another part of that fear that everybody is from because they're putting on watching that TV, and they're getting scripted, scripted, and it's always changing all the time. They're always putting things on you because that's what it's supposed to do. But is it scary? Because, because it's a program. What, what for you once, it, for you twice, for you three times. Yeah, I think I after mean, the like second can, time, it's shame on you. Yeah, and you it, know? it's the fact that everything yeah. is a screen, you know? And that's what we rely on most of the time now, is that you can't really get away from it. And hey, even it's in ads. And you want to know something? If, it's we, if, rolling. If, we look at, if we look at Mother Nature, I'm sure a ton of those gazelles and, and those animals that fall prey, I'm sure they're animals. nice. Like individuals, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know, like Mother Nature doesn't be like, ah, oh, where the bad people at? Like, yeah, you guys are gonna go to the lions, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like life is. That's why I keep saying like it's 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 individual. Like, like it's really all on you. You, individual, it's all on you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because. It might come in the morning where you are that gazelle. You gotta run away from that lion by your damn self. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? There's always yeah. a point in time where it Most is like, like yeah. That. So always. and and either either you're gonna make it or you're not. That's exactly. it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's life in general. You know what I'm saying? Like no one's gonna save you from this. It's up to you to make it out. And How are you gonna make thing, it out? The it's thing up to about you. I read about that, like the same example you're using about the lion and the gazelle, is that you know some animals play dead as a defense mechanism. Yeah, but it's almost like you lost the battle, but not really. You live to fight another day. They never day. lived. It's, no, no, the, the the gazelle is still alive, but it acts like it's wounded. yeah, but it never runs. True. If it moves, it walks. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because it knows. It's interesting that you point out that that some some animals will um, play dead, and I kind of relate that. I kind of managed to relate that back to watching some of our fellows not taking action and understanding how that's all something like a trait that we sort of gather from animals mm -hmm. right like how some of some of our fellows would play dead for lack of a better word word with their dreams or with their mm -hmm. or with what they want to do or with overcoming an insecurity or overcoming a trauma mm -hmm. or overcoming you know what i'm saying or, or whatever it is that that's that's your demon that you want to overcome it's interesting how we'll play dead to some of those things too mm -hmm. and, and i say that because this time has only allowed self-reflection we can all get high that doesn't mean we choose to that's, that's true that's deep. That's you know deep. what i mean yeah. like like so elaborate on that like what i mean by that is that dreaming is free mm -hmm. dreaming is like you don't have to take life this seriously this life is it's beautiful it's fun you can make it whatever you want in your head. That's how sick it is. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. You can ignore every single human being on this planet based on the world going on in your head. And there's plenty of people out there going in insane asylums, which I think some of those people happen to be some of the smartest people on this planet. We just don't, we don't understand their frequency. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like life is whatever you want to make it. You know, You don't have to come out of this thing a billionaire you can come out of it as a homeless too it doesn't matter you have the same value you know it's either you it's just like i said it's like we're all given the same gifts question is are we using it that's it mm. josie i think what you're starting to discover and uh i think everybody goes through this but you know the people you see on tv and stuff like that where it's like you know they're, they're making it seem as as if success is, is is glamorous and it's comfortable and all that the reality it's like that like maybe one to two percent of the time the rest is hard work the rest is constantly challenging yourself constantly discovering uh, um you know like reinventing yourself true as well. 
you have to stay true because mm. if you don't stay true, you can't keep what you what You'll you attain. Hiccups. You know well, what I'm well, saying? I think, I think life has a way of speaking about that to you. You can you can try to think that it's not real, mm-hmm. but once you see that your account is overdrawn, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or once you see that you can't pay that bill, mm-hmm. or once you see that you can't keep what you've attained, mm-hmm. you understand real quickly that you were lying to yourself. Right? Now some of those things happen by not by choice. Some of those things happen by somebody taking a risk, right? So it depends. It, it allows you to understand why you made that choice, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but I think I don't I don't know if I'm discovering it. I don't think so. I think that it's just it's just it's um I've been aware of, aware of it. I, I think one of the things that I have been discovering though is okay. is allowing to let go of the control that I think I have. You see that I I already see where you are. I I was yeah. I was I was where you are now. I was where you are now in two thousand and twelve. What do you mean by that? Talk to me. Or thirteen. You you're gonna realize real quickly that a lot of stuff happens because of because of the energy around you it has you're not going to be responsible for all of it you know what i'm saying like you're not going to be responsible for all of it you're not going to be the reason for all of it it's just going to be because life wants that for you you Mm -hmm. know it's like you can't you know don't 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 try to be you know what i'm saying like you don't think about breathing you know what i'm saying it happens for you you know, mm-hmm. you can control how deep of a breath you're taking, but you don't think about it. It just happens for you. You know, you have to look at it that way, too. You can't look at the whole process as it's me, 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 me. You know, you have to look at the process that it's, it's a blend of ingredients. You know, mm-hmm. it's your will plus plus the will of God allowing you to be, you know, and those two things coming together. That's where you get preparation. You god opportunity Opportunity. you know and that's where it's like it's like a beautiful harmony you know and that's how it is when you call prospects or you call clients or you meet new people you know it's just like it's just be in that good space that's that's all that's your that's your responsibility and honestly even if you think you're not in that good space i think the the solution for that for anybody going through it is is just really taking yourself out of the way you know to really taking yourself out of the way if i don't want to do something that's me not mm-hmm. wanting to do it but this thing is calling me and it's expecting me to to meet it you yeah. know what i'm saying so let me get myself out of the way and go meet it because i don't know what's going what i'm going to experience when i go meet it mm-hmm. i can experience the moment that will change my life the client that will pick up and say yes i want to take your service mm-hmm. or you know you understand mm-hmm. and i don't know if you maybe you you said that you you understood well, you understand exactly where I am in the aspect of allowing to let go of the control yeah, yeah, that yeah, I think yeah. I have. Have more I faith. Have more faith. How, have you sort of, did you kind of go through that threshold at, at some point at every time in your life, whether it, it had to do with your business or anything in general? Or were you always sort of like, I need a, I need the destination is here, I got to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you ever experience you getting yourself, you getting in your own way ever or... or or um, or was it always destination locked? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, it's 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 good that you you speak on that, okay? Because um, yeah, I do get in my own way. You know, I for me. Remember when you were trying to scale initially? Yeah, trying to scale. When I was trying to scale the first time in Las Vegas, you know. I, I would push the envelope and I would try to get everybody that I can, but it, but the thing is that I wasn't ready, but I wanted to push it, you know. Mm-hmm. So I kept trying, I kept trying, I had to pull it back. But these, th- it. this is all, this is learning right here. Mm-hmm. I've spent so much on doing new campaigns or hiring new people or trying to go another avenue, but you know, that's it's better than putting that into a school because I self-educated myself on what is right, what is wrong, and how to keep moving forward from there, you know? And I do get in my own way sometimes because in the beginning, when I first started all this, I wanted to be a perfectionist as well because I wanted to make sure that everything was going right. But the thing was, is that I had to get out of my own way way and just keep moving. Because, I mean, for me, see, I, I, I know, I, I know it's coming, you know what I mean? I just, ha- I just have to 
meet that energy halfway. You know, I have to meet God halfway. He's he gives all, everything that there is. But if if you if you're not doing anything, if you have idle hands, you're you're really not doing anything. You know what I mean? Then you're getting in your own way. But I put that that energy forward. You know what I mean? I keep moving forward, keep moving forward because I know it's going to be there and it's going to work out. So I I have faith and I believe in it as as much as possible because there is no other way. There is no other way. It wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you wouldn't be here right now either. There's you know a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of people who who want to see it to believe it. You know what I mean? But you got to believe it to let it manifest. You know, don't sit there and see it till you believe it. Like people don't believe in God or don't believe in this or believe in aliens or whatever it is. They say it doesn't exist. I have to see it until I believe it. It's mm -hmm. like okay, you know what I mean? You're just gonna be held back because. You know, you you have to just believe it because when you do, it 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 just that's the way dreamers work. That's you, called you make it happen, it becomes fruition, visual you know, right manifestation. And, and yeah. I think I think one of the things I've also discovered too that that relates that correlates exactly to what we're talking about is that life is not like for example, just take take into account. What what brought me what led me to the discovery was I was watching The Pursuit of Happiness. I found myself watching that, right? And awesome that movie. movie. And yeah, in that movie, right. there's, I like that one. There's, Especially there's, if you're a father, it's an yeah. awesome movie. Right? And in that movie, there's a part, right? In the end, when he finally gets the job, and he's kind of walking down, and the narrator, along the line of the movie, he's always saying, like, this part of my life is called running. This part of my life is called being stupid, right? And he goes, this lip at, at this point where he finally gets the job, mm -hmm. where it all comes together, where they tell him, yo, you're gonna come back tomorrow as a, as a trader, mm -hmm. as a broker. He wa he's walking down, clapping, and he's like, this little moment, little slice of my life is called happiness, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, oh shit, the entire thing is the pursuit. You know for what that I'm moment, saying? for that small little for moment. For that small moment, you know what I'm saying? The pursuit is the it factor that will uh, will allow it to make sense as to why you were doing what you had to do all those times. For example, with you, that moment for you of realization probably was when you started to notice that your team was being set up. Mm -hmm. And you were like, oh, this is why I had to do whatever it is that I had to do. Like you said, I wouldn't be here had he not, you know what I'm saying? Had he not already seen it in his mind? I told you, this is going to be a discovery process. It, it, it's, it's definitely the journey, right? Every like it's day. not the destination, Every it's the journey, day. right? It's yeah. exactly where it takes you, right? So, so I think, I think like, just, I'm honestly grateful for this time. Like, I think, I think one of the other things that I've been, been that I've sort of taken for granted is the ability to be grateful for things. Bro. Yeah. Like that ability of ha of being like, yo, I'm grateful for the moment that mm -hmm. I'm experiencing right now. Because yes, there is all this pandemonium going around, but if you really look at around, bro, this is the best time of my life. This is the best time I've ever experienced. I'm learning so much more than I've ever had. I'm taking into account the 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 the, the energies that I allow into my space. I, I'm building my family. I'm building a business i'm helping somebody also build their business as well like it, it's a, it's it's if you take it into account like you could really do something with what you have yeah, yeah 100 but, yeah. but you have to you have to get out of your way and you gotta let go of those things that you think you have control and of connect to things and, too and, and, and connect to what's you know what i'm saying let it let let me me god halfway like get out get out like get, let yeah. don't don't you know, if, if your choice is sitting down, okay, but make sure that it's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Don't just sit down aimlessly. Mm -hmm. Sit down for a reason. Mm -hmm. Have it, if you want your self-reflection time, self-fucking reflect. Mm -hmm. If you want if you want right. to get up and go, get up and go. If you want to go make that call, go make that call. Even if you can't, even if at the moment you got that stomach ache and you're better ridden or whatever, you know what I'm saying? There's, it, it might be, it might just be that one moment. Where you, it's kind of like that little picture that I see sometimes where there's like somebody that's like chipping away at something. Mm -hmm. The diamond, kind of, yeah, the yeah, diamond, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like walking away and yeah. the diamond is like right. Yeah. He just needed one more crack, but he just, it's yeah, not wow. that he gave up. It's, it really just got to the point where it was like, 
it was like, yo, I can't continue to fucking do this anymore. But that moment right there might be the moment where it all clicks. Yeah. That little slight, the, the slight pursuit, the happiness, that's the little moment in your life called happiness comes together right then and there. And I think I've, 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 I've learned to appreciate and be grateful more in this time than ever. And it's because I've really, I've really seen what, I really see what God has given me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I really pay attention to it. I really pay attention to it and take a hold of it and understand how hard it is to maintain it. You know what I'm saying? And how, how, di- but it's like you get, it's like this weird appreciation that you almost love the struggle. It's like you almost love the level where you're at because it's like there's so much to learn there. There's so much to learn in that mistake and that person telling me, no, I don't want to take your service right now. There's so much to learn. It's like I, I, I learn more when someone tells me no than when someone tells me yes. Yeah, and if I'm just open to that, I'll download the information. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, yeah. So mm-hmm. it's just it's just very it's a beautiful time. That's great that you're coming to that realization though. It is a beautiful means you're time. already on the way. It's perspective, I think so. You yeah. know, and I think I think obviously a lot of it has to do with the energies that you allow in. Yeah. Because like you I think I, I heard you mention one time that it's like it's like um it's like you gain a uh, new territory in, in the in, in your in your um in, in the thoughts of what's possible. You compared it to like when you're riding a bike at first. And now you know how to ride a bike. So so now you don't have to worry about like learning how to ride a bike. Now you're making time for learning how to ride your bike without your hands. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like now, you're, now after you've done that, now you're learning how to ride a bike and call, take mm-hmm. a phone call. You know what I'm saying? Because really, like, all this, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're you're it's it's new. You're you you've allowed uh, 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 new things to come in and sort of stay. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. but but um, yeah, man. I mean, there's a lot of people that are that are not as as um blessed with this perspective, and they're just going through it. Yeah, they're just. Going I think it. I think you know you, you we're all results of our own work on ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like and no, nothing is going in vain. You know, I think we damn I think we damn well know what we're doing all the time. It's just how, you know, are you listening more into the, the distracted loud voice that's telling you to do the obvious decisions? Or are you listening to the, the quiet, quiet one that's telling you to take the hard route, which a lot of people are afraid of. But that's where your, your next level is, you know, that's where your best self is. So, so let's Look, give people some, some It's like, advice. it's like, if you got a million dollar idea, don't take advice from somebody who makes 40000 Hundred percent. You know what I mean? Right. They're gonna hold you back. They're 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 comfortable. They're fine. You know that's that's what they like. Mm-hmm. They tell you, almost, you it's almost keep like if they tell you don't do it, you should. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, that lets you know that that's something that that could pick up because if, if that person that's comfortable is, is reacting to it in a way where it's like nah. I don't want to deal with that, or maybe that, that, that sounds like a dumb idea. You should right. explore it. Right. It means that there's more beyond that boundary. Right. They're, that person is just a, 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 a landmark in this vast field of your idea. Mm-hmm. And, and you, if you cross that landmark, there'll be more at the other mm-hmm. end. I would like to know how this time has allowed you guys to adapt in your businesses. Like, what are some of the things you've been experiencing in your business that has allowed you to sort of get to your clients? That, that they can take with and say, okay, let's try this new thing or this, like, what has this new time brought that has allowed you to sort of expand? Right, okay, I'm glad you reached on that because, so when I'm doing some web design and I'm doing SEO, like I'm continuously building on people's websites, right? But what I do need is authentic images and, and video, right? So I know in certain businesses, they become so busy that it's hard for them to be able to produce me, you know, these images or send them to me or have somebody out there on the job site to be able to record this or, you know, take pictures of their, of their, uh, of their team. So what I did was, and I had no experience in photography, but what I did was I bought a really nice setup, tripod, everything, right? I said, I'm just going to go out there and I'm just going to tell my clients, hey, look, Photography budget, I'm coming out to the job site, I'm coming out to the shop, whatever it takes, right? And I did it whatever it took because I really needed the, the material, but 
it's like I jumped in with both feet and it was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to learn it on the way because this is still part of everything that I need to do. So I kept moving forward and then I met photographers along the way and we just dialed it in, right? So when I came out here to Miami, we still had a photography going on, but now I have photographers, right? Because I knew what it took to be able to produce what I really needed. So then I, we have photographers. We have uh, you doing the photography for us for Miami Unlocked and you know, Social Ubiquity, Compass, you know, creating all these videos. And that's where it's like I knew what it took over here and how to, how to uh, uh, create a service for it, create a product, right? But I knew that I'm not the one that has all the education for it, but I knew I needed to find people. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm good at as that organization. Right? I'm great at software engineering, but when it comes to photography, and this is the time management, it takes me away. So I knew that be able to find somebody who was great in video and great in photography, we did that here in Miami. And that's why just a couple of weeks ago, you and I, we took the trip down to Las Vegas. Got to meet the clients that are down there as well and you know take shots of their whole team. Um, um, video as well. Yeah, we did video, you know, for the tattoo shops, for the construction people. Uh, we went down there and met a new law firm, you know, yeah. uh, talking about the video that we do. Video production, YouTube SEO combined with website SEO combined with social media management. Like we, we have, I have now documented all of the information. And this is where documentation comes in so handy. I documented to where I can build services and products off of this and it casts such a huge net for these clients to be able to benefit from because they're able to grab a bigger audience from all the services that we're able to provide now. And, and, and for you, AJ, kind of what, what, what has been some of those things that, I mean, maybe there hasn't been any update because you're such a, uh, your, your line of work is so, um, uh, um, uh, people to people contact, mm -hmm. but has this time, maybe the question changes for you, has this time allowed for any new updates or new things that you, doesn't necessarily have to be technical, technological, but just new ways to do business or whatever that can, uh, that, that sort of has been able to expand, allow you to expand on your business or, or is it always just trust that kind of just ends up? Um. I don't know. If I think no, no, no. I, I know exactly what you're asking, and I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna answer it accurately. At least I think so. Um, when anyone, uh, for me at least, when anyone gets into a business and uh, they're starting out in it, and uh, they're delving into that, they learn very quickly that it's a very broad world, especially in within their industries. Industries are very broad. So in the beginning, you're, you're hungry for it, you know. You should always, obviously you're always gonna remain hungry, but in the beginning you're really, you know, you're really fully supercharged and you're ready to get things done. Now, um, some people take longer than most to start getting the ball rolling. For me, in my respect, it, it didn't take me long. I started converting and transacting rather quickly. Uh, what happened for me was I started thinking of additional components uh, to, to, to implement around uh, my real estate. So since I was renting people apartments and selling people apartments, I thought, you know what, I need to move these people into their apartments. So I created a moving company. But mm -hmm. when I created that moving company, that moving company was just me and my fiance. Um, those were the only people moving the furniture. And I remember uh, basically to, to, to Rob's um, point, there's going to be some times where if you want to like expand or you want to create a new stream of revenue, you're going to have to take on uh, new kinds of responsibilities and new kinds of jobs. And sometimes you may not be prepared or equipped for it. Uh, and then there's a saying that Richard Branson has that says, uh, um, you know, take the opportunity even if you're not ready for it. You know, accept it first, figure out how to do it later. There was a time... I had a client moving from Long Island City to, to uh, Harlem, uh, right next to the Upper East Side boundary, like on 97th Street. And uh, they had a storage all the way in Albany. So uh, I told them I had a moving company and I was, I was interested in, in, in moving them. And I remember I had to wake up one day, 
take the bus all the way out to upstate and take a cab all the way to a U-Haul place, then get the U-Haul. It was like a, a 42 or 52 footer. Drive that U-Haul all the way to the storage space by myself, empty the whole entire storage space, put it into U-Haul, drive it to the city where my wife was waiting for me um, with my, my son who was like one or two at the time. And I remember just coming out of that truck and, and I was lifting these things and they didn't even believe that I did it by myself. But it's just that that drive was like there. So it was like, there was no way it wasn't going to get done, you know, because never in my mind did it cross, the thought cross where it's like, how am I going to do this? Uh, for me, it was just like a matter of like, which fashion do I want to get it done, you know? And, um, and then that showed me a new light, like, oh my God, this is an additional stream of revenue, you know? So it became real estate and moving. And then I did real estate moving and Uber, you know? And I, I, like, you just figure out how to get it done, man. And then, but that's in the beginning, you know? And then you realize that, you know, there's a reason why uh, Roger Federer is also not Tiger Woods, you know? Like, you, you gotta become the best at like your thing, you know? So then it became like, okay, like I, I've, I've achieved success and everything, but I got too many things going on right now. You know, I want my energy more focused. So then you learn that, you know what, let me, let me conserve myself a little bit more because I want to take this thing further as opposed to getting going nuts in the beginning, getting all these streams of revenue, but you have no way to support it, to keep it going. So then that's how, you know, through time you learn like, you know what, let me, let me narrow it down a little bit. Let me keep it consistent. Let me stick with my niche. And now that you sort of stuck to your niche, because it sounds like that's where you're at at the moment, what are some of the things that this time has brought that has allowed you to expand that? I mean, I, I don't, it's, it, this time has not been favorable for me. Really? In, in terms of like, it's not favorable for my business this time, you but, know? But you seem, you seem like you've been able to I've been, click. I've been, I'm still <laughs> clicking, I'm still clicking because, I'm still clicking because I'm staying creative, mm, you understand? Okay. And then it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's a people business what I'm in and people are heavily affected, you know? So something like what Rob's doing, it's, it's more, it's more favorable. It's a more comfortable space. It's less, you know, less things are getting in his way. You understand? Well, so when you say creative, talk to me about that. What, what I mean by what I mean what I mean by it. what I mean you by don't have to give me specific business. But no, 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 for sure. Like for example, like okay, what I mean by creative is okay. Everyone is scared, right? And uh, I had these clients in New York looking down here, and then one day I called them. I said, "Hey guys, what's up?" You know, and I'm like, "Okay, uh, you guys may have cold feet, but this place is st is going to be worth much more." You know. You guys are still aging. You guys are, you know, it, it, Corona don't stop aging. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. you're in your 40s, you're gonna be in your 50s. You wanna be in New York, 20, mile, 20 degree weather in your 50s, 60s? I don't think so. Yeah. So it kind of just forced them to, let me get out my head currently, you know, and let me think long term. What's, what's inevitable? What's inevitable is you're gonna age. What's inevitable, your kid's gonna get older. What's inevitable is that, you know, you're going to need to pass something down. You're going to need to have lineage, you know, like you're not going to be here forever. It doesn't matter if that, that day is today or 40 years from now, you know, like. So you always need to have the end in mind. It's important. So you are almost bringing the way that you used to maintain creative, probably not only with States. that client, but with your other clients, that you've been able to bring that piece of reality back to them that has been you still have to be like you still got to be focused on the bigger picture exactly. even when things happen okay. you know so what i'm saying made, you, instead of that because they make the picture the big picture wallet size you came out and took it out the wallet and was like yo they're <laughs> like yeah. yeah when when someone's a consumer they're not always gonna be uh thinking level-headed sometimes you have to be the therapist you know that's why they have therapists yeah, it's almost like what you were talking touching upon on, on that thing that you mentioned that 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 authority that, that your clients look at you to be their digital authority. Yeah. So you kind of have to step in and be like, yo, this is what you got to do right now because you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, yeah. if not, people right. will allow themselves to to, mm -hmm. to, to to act on emotion or act on right, fear. Right. Mm -hmm. And that sometimes ends up being the worst decision. Some of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life have been out of fear. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all so, do. so I think it's just, it, it, I think we kind of also have to touch upon on those little um, um, uh, solutions for people in this time now, because I'm not gonna lie, we're, we, we're doing, thank God, we're doing great, you know what I'm saying, all of us, 
you mentioned in that in your in, in this time right now in your in your industry it's not supposed to be favorable it's not supposed to be good but you've been able to quit. people are barely yeah. i you've think i think very quit. few people are, are, are producing you know yeah. you know so. for us obviously more favorable but more clients and more newer clients are scared of letting go over there so we have to kind of come in and educate them right and that's where the work is for us you know what I'm saying? Yet, yeah, even though we're in that comfortable space of the SEO and the YouTube SEO and the website design, web, web design, you know, we, yes, it's a favorable time, but clients are still scared. I'm noticing a yeah. lot of people, a lot of the clients, the new clients that I'm having conversations on, these cold calls that I've been making these past few weeks, yeah. a lot of the topic of conversation is, yeah, but if I let go of all this money right now, I don't, and it's like, you kind of have to let them know and educate them like, hey, look, this is what you're doing is, this is going to stop and things are going to open up. Yes. You're setting yourself up. You're, you're, you're investing right. for your, your, right. your, your traffic to come in and land somewhere. Yeah. Because if you don't have anywhere for it to land, shit, you're not taking advantage of the clients that are looking for you. Should mm-hmm. just tell them growth was Look. in your future plans anyway. <laughs> Look, this is what it is. This is what it is. SEO creates jobs. And right now, SEO is saving jobs. Hey, man. And, and it's a beautiful thing, man. And I think today... This conversation, how all this has come around, has came about. How we spontaneously all said, "Hey, look, we got to do this right now." Everybody came into the moment, did whatever they had to do to push everything they needed to push to the side. Mm-hmm. Here now, had this beautiful conversation. Yeah. I think it's a testament to how we need to, con- like you mentioned, what we need to continue doing. You yep. know what I'm saying? And hopefully, people take this in, and hopefully, people, you know, notice that yes, in this time of of, of pandemonium you still need to be able to push for something because yeah. it's not going to stop. Tomorrow is not going to stop. Tomorrow is going to come. And at some point in time, things are going to open back up. And at some point in time, wh- what are you, what are you going to be looking back to? What right. you say, damn, what did I do with all that? Damn, I, I really sat down. And took a about this. I think people need to act like exactly what they're trying to make it seem like, you know, yeah. the end is close. So, you know what I'm saying? Are you really doing what you want to do? You know? Like, get up off your... And go get something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it... it, You know? It's like... Look, you got to make the right moves right now. Yeah. Okay. I don't... In any business right now, you've got to make the right move. So if there's a lot of people who are trying to get all that funding for through the SBA, the PPP, EIDL, all these grants and everything else, don't sit there and sit on it and try to buy something else. You know, put those dollars to work. Put those dollars to work because that's what you have to do. Keep those dollars pumping for your business. You know, put it in the marketing, put it in the SEO, keep pumping that. Stimulate that, that economy. That is what's going to save your business. Shit, Don't yeah. go out and buy all this stuff. Put that into your marketing because because you know what? A lot of people are not doing that. And I mean, this, this is what we're doing right here. This is the same thing. You know what I mean? It's 128 we, in the doing, morning, ladies and gentlemen. 128 in the morning. 128 a.m. Yeah. But I feel like I'm on express. You should call this episode like the three wise men, you know? <laughs> and, and, and the reason why I say that is because like, I, it's not, this is not about people, you know, be yourself. Don't try to be anyone else. Be yourself, but play to your strengths. Be smart. Play to your strengths. Yeah. Know what your natural interest is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want this to. I don't want this to be just some episode. You're gonna come. You're gonna listen to whatever. I want people to get inspired. I want people to understand that there's no difference between a Steve Jobs and you. It's all about how you use your brain. I mean, there is a difference. He's putting in time and imagination to other things, but it's never too late to start. You know, like people. You gotta come out here and give something of yourself that people can work with you know what i'm saying whatever it is your voice your time you know like give to your community give to your kids you know in- encourage be that better change you know what i'm saying man every, everyone is already we already see enough of the same stuff every single day all day you know i think everyone is ready to be you know rubbed by something new something different you know something inspiring uplifting you gotta, you gotta like, you are what you, what you build yourself to be. You know, you don't like it at first, but you need to read. Read is fundamental. Reading is fundamental. Imagination is fundamental. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I hope that these conversations that we're having, I think that these just should be gradual, and we should con- constantly, gradually over time, 
let people in like this, you know, along the way. So at least people can understand and maybe they can personally relate or maybe we can answer questions for them along their own ways, you yeah, know? Because everyone needs a, a beacon, you know what I'm saying? Like, even the, 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 even the, the, the most amazing, you know, ship captains in the world, they still rely on the lighthouse, you know, because that's like an indicator. So it's like the, people have to be light for each other. I'm tired of everyone being darkness. I'm tired every time I have a big idea, the first, the first response you're going to hear is how it's going to work as opposed to how it how it's not going to work, excuse me, as opposed to how it can work. But I think how we touched on it uh, uh, before in the conversation was that's like that, that's that first milestone in that, in that vast, that first landmark in that vast land of, of your idea. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get past that, like how it's not going to work. You can almost learn a lot from that person telling you if you're not just listening to that person and how you mentioned, you're tapped into the destination that you're going to end up at, that you're already manifesting. Because if you're not manifesting that end destination, mm -hmm. you're only here. Yeah. You're only at, this is how it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. But if your mind is at, it's gonna work. You're only listening to that person. You're saying, okay, mm, oh, well, all right, move. Let me move on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm gonna give you a perfect example. The law of attraction. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. When Robert has a, me encouraging Robert is me encouraging myself. Yeah. Me mm. encouraging you is encouraging myself yeah. you encouraging him is encouraging yourself and encouraging me me encouraging you is encouraging him yeah. you yeah. understand what i'm saying it's a you know what i'm saying I, I i'm not i'm not looking for what i don't want i don't give a fuck about what i don't want i'm not looking for it i'm looking for what i want because i know what i want when you know what you want you know what you're looking for that's and, it and, and the world the universe presents that to you and i'll tell you you know we'll we'll, we'll wrap this up a little bit here yeah. but I'll, I'll give you one little story that can, can end it all nicely, right? When I when my job for a little me, my first light bulb was be actually let me backtrack a little bit. Before me being furloughed, I was in the process of moving over to Albuquerque, right, to go manage a shop that my my job uh, gave me. Um, that th this new shop that they built out there, and my whole thought was this is before they actually gave me the job. My whole thought was if I don't get that job, I'm going to go to coding school in the summer. Meaning 2020 summer, what we're, what this, this where we are in right now, like so. So, look at how God works, look at how the universe works, right? I said that back in July of last year, mm. right? This is how long I've been sort of processing doing the transition over into the digital world, right? Or understanding that I need to tap into the digital world. So, now this corona situation thing happens, and I start thinking, okay, the only thing that went up was the internet, so I need to tap into that. Right, so I see uh, on YouTube, I see a, 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 a um, an ad for SEO training or whatever, something like that, and I tap into it and I buy it, whatever, and I start learning about it. I pick it up. All of a sudden, I'm at your house doing a podcast and I meet Rob, and I'm able to have a conversation with Rob about SEO that I wouldn't have been able to have if I didn't do that work mm -hmm. that I did the week prior. Right. That was only a week prior, mm -hmm. right? So if I would have allowed myself to say, "Damn, I don't have the money to invest into this right now." And, and right now with this corona shit, I can't really invest into anything. I got I don't know where my next meal is coming from. Three, four, five months down the line, I'm about to use this amount of money for this. Like, if I would have let all that fear stop me right then and there, and didn't have my head at the end destination, which is this shit will work because at the end of the day, I can make myself autonomous and I can work from wherever, and it would not only be better for me and my family. If I didn't have that destination in mind, I wouldn't have done that, and I wouldn't have been able to have a good conversation with Rob. You know what the best math in the world is? The best math in the world? When you move with purpose, everything adds up. That's it. And I think that's a beautiful way to end it. Yeah. And it's a beautiful way to end it. Right right on. On. Right Man, on. this has been a great episode. This is a fantastic this is episode. And um, I look forward to, to, to the future. You know, I look forward to more. Like I said, it's a discovery, man. And, you know, you say, you say whatever you want to say, man. You give your peace out there. And remember, like, everybody is different, you know? So I think it's important, you know, everyone is unique here in this room and in this world, you know? Are yeah. you embracing it? You know what I'm saying? You know, you're different. I'm different. Josie's different. Everybody's different, you know? But 
the fact that we're expressing ourselves and we're, we're, we're able to, to do this and, and give people something to work with. It's amazing. I look forward to the next episode. And Robert, thank you so much. Josie, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this evening on another episode of the Miami Unlocked podcast. And we advise you heavily to take action. And good night. <laughs>